Hi guys, let's look at uh, KCSE 2022, the previous year's KCSE practical. So uh, they brought two questions, a word processing question and uh, a, a database. So this is the first question, open a word processor or a word processing program and create the following document as it appears. Guys, as it appears save it as network network in small letters then we have 43 and a half marks so this is the gadget uh, this is the document you are supposed to come up with then here you can see we are supposed to use auto shapes let's go on then we have two uh, paragraphs and then separated with a straight line then we have this table difference between star and ring topology so we have the word star facing down the, the ring also facing down then what else am i supposed to do apply each of the following formats on the document created 1.2 centimeter page margin at the top and bottom two centimeter hanging ident on the bulleted text under the title ring topology then we have 1.5 line spacing on the bulleted text and uh, uh, title star topology. Then you insert the text computer networks as a footer, computer networks in caps. Then we have format the footer as follows, align it to right, that is computer networks should go to right, uh, font size 9, font style italics. So guys, uh, I have typed the document in advance and for that case uh, we shall copy this document we shall copy this document then do the necessary so I copy this document then I go to Microsoft Word and paste it here so I go to home paste so this is the document now we start by uh, doing the first task uh, here if you go to the first task here we have the first line, wrist area, wrist area network. This one should be striped. So you go to this point, wrist area network, this one. Then you strike, go to home. Then there is this part, strike through. So you just strike. Then the next thing, we have four bullets of ticks. So you just go to this point, highlight, go home go to this point where bullets are click there and then hit tick so there we are so the next thing here is to draw this stuff here so we are supposed to draw this stuff so go to this point here create space you can just create our space there so to draw that one you need to uh, use outer shapes so we have how many we have one two three four five six we have six uh, boxes so go to insert then go to shapes here yeah. you search for that i think this one here yeah. so this is it then you can go to shape uh, format there then you remove the outer shape and give it the outline color black there we are so this is the first one then you also have the gadget sorry the we have the the so guys we have this one we have we agreed we have uh, six of them so just copy uh, copy paste we have two one is located somewhere there the other one here so they are of a certain size then we have this one hold shift so this one hold shift copy paste so bring these ones here we have those ones so these ones are somewhere here these are closer to each other then you have this one here you also have this one here so we have such this one should be somewhere there then we have uh, another two facing down so first of all we can you can bring this text somewhere here so that uh, this one also goes up 
So uh, we first of all remove this. We also remove this one. So we take our gadgets up there. Hold shift shift so that we can select all of them. So I take them to where they are. They're supposed to be somewhere there. So the next thing is to copy this, copy paste. Sorry, I just need to have one, copy paste. This one, I have this one. And also another one, paste. We have another one somewhere here. Yes. So these are, these are the here. So the next thing I need to do is to go and bring the car, the, the core out. So go to this point, get the core out. The core out should be somewhere. Uh, here, the star banners, we have the core out. The core out. Mm -hmm. Just check where the core out is. I think we have something of the sort. Or you can just opt to draw it. If you are keen enough, you can just draw that one. You can just go to insert, shape, take the that one then you can just draw draw that stuff you can just draw it there we are then remove the remove the this one put color brack shape out train brack you can have that one drawn for you then the next thing is to can reduce the size of this the next thing is to right click inside then add text so we have the internet the internet then let's, uh, remove the that space by clicking on that point then this one we have the internet and this one is capital letter so sorry undo go home caps or caps here yeah, or caps uppercase and bold. Then the next thing is to draw the arrows. For example, this one, right click inside, add text. This one is pan. Should be capital letters. Pan. Right click this one, add text. This is LAN. Then also this is right click inside. Then this is pan. Right click inside, add text. This is LAN. Then we have man. This is man. This is man also. Man. Then this one is tilted somehow. Also this one, you take the rotating flip. This looks up somehow there. Then from there, you just need now to draw the straight lines. So go to this point, shape, take the straight line. Okay, now this one goes there. Then make sure it is black in color. Then take another one. This one is at the corner. Shape out line, color, change the color to black. Then we have, sorry, insert shape. Take the this straight line. This one hits here. Then go to shape, put, make it black. Again, you draw this one, go to this point, shape out train, should be black. Then you take also this one, it's the curve here. Then this is shape out train, should be black. Then this one also goes here. Shape out train, black. There we are. Then after doing that, you need to sh to shift everything that way to group it. You need to group it so that it becomes one. So it becomes one. So you're supposed to shift like that, then you go to shape out line, you group them. You group them together. It should be group. Size arrange. This one, group. You hit a group. 
So the whole gadget uh, becomes one. So the next thing after doing that, after having done that one, is to go to the next stuff here. Yeah? So we have that one. We have types of physical topology. They are of two columns. So I go to my text here. Yeah? Copy my text. This is what I have. So I copy this. I need to copy this. This is what I have. Data transfer. So I remove this. I have this one. This this is my text. So I copy that. Go to my document here. I paste it there. So guys, this is what we have. Uh, I need to separate this one to two paragraphs. So I first of all highlight. Then I go to this point here I think it should go to layout then columns uh, I need to go to more columns then uh, I need to then rain between that way rain between then click OK so this is what I have but uh, I need ring topology to start there so I click where I want to start I press control shift enter control shift enter that one should take me somewhere here so let me remove this. So you see, guys, it is exactly as the examiner wants. Then the next thing is to put these ones into, uh, this one is Roma, uh, Roma numbers. So I go to home, go to numbers. I put the Roma numbers. Then I go to these ones. I go to checking. I put the, the dotted bullets or circles so I go to this point I put that there we are so you can see it is exactly but we have a heading here so I don't know we can push this a bit then we have the heading there we have the heading types of physical physical topology Top topology then this is centered centered but there is no underline so remove underline that's what that's what what we have so guys so far we have done page one so there is page two uh, we have the page two where we have this table so i'll just copy the table you know how to insert a table so i only show you the formattings that the examiner wanted or want so we go to the next page here you can just adjust the margins by clicking on view then just pull this a bit but to, to make sure it is in that page then from there I uh, paste my table this is my table so what is am I supposed to do I'm supposed to have this one different difference between star and ring topology so I just include that so I click inside here go to table design sorry layout I take my eraser and erase this so I have one then uh, the next thing I'm supposed to have here is to uh, have that one difference difference between star and ring ring top project to porridge to porridge so after doing this i need to highlight this by using gray so i, I can go home then this the highlight i just highlight a gray or i think gray then center so that's what uh, the examiner has done then after doing that one i need to have another row here so i go to layout i take a pencil draw so i draw another column there that is the column i have then this column should be uh, divided here so so i need to divide this one Okay, then the next thing here, though this opt, opt to have been one line, this one opt to have been one line, 
So the next thing I'm supposed to do here is to have star star then I should have the other side ring then uh, both of them should be let me remove the highlight no highlight no color so both of them uh, should look or face downwards so I go to uh, table design I go to where I can get text box text direction text direction just hit text direction then centered go home should be centered should be centered centered should be centered so I write this should be centered Alternatively, just just use a text box in case it misbehaves. So just go to insert shape, take a text box, text box, draw here, paste that one, then give text direction, and then go to shape out oh, shape out oh, uh, fill sorry uh, shape outline no outline that way. Then do the same to this. Cut. Cut. Go to insert. Shape. Take a text box. You yeah, draw it at the center. Paste your stuff. Now this should be star. 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 Then text direction. Do as you have done. Then remove the outline. No outrun. There we are. So guys, this should be taken up. So guys, after doing that one, uh, we have finished that. Then we have insert computer networks as footer. So just go to point of footer here. Double click. Uh, we have been told should be on your right. So computer networks. That one is done. Double click. So we have the computer networks. Then the next thing we, we should have uh, is 1.2 centimeters page around. That is, go to margins. Go to uh, margins. So this should be somewhere here. Margins. Go to margins. Go to custom margin. Then put 2.2. One point two seven, one point two seven, one point two seven, and bottom. That is top, top, and bottom. Then go to where the bottom is. One point two seven. There we are. So that's whatever the examiner wanted. Then from there, we have two centimeters hanging ident, and also one point. Uh, five rain spacing on the bulleted text bulleted text of star topology bulleted text of star topology this one so you apply one point you just go home uh, we go to where rain spacing is rain spacing rain spacing this one this is where rain spacing should be so we put a rain spacing of 1.5 there we are so the next one is um, about the dents so about the dents we have hanging dents here we have been told to have hanging ident of bulleted text title ring topology so first of all you highlight this one for the ring topology then go to uh, paragraph here then hanging ident of two centimeters so just put two centimeters here two centimeters there we are so that one is done we are supposed to save our work as network small letters so 
got it. So after doing that one, go to the next part. Uh, format the footer created as a line right font size 9 italics. So you highlight this. It should be italics home, press I, and also should be size 9. So type 9 here and press enter. There we are. So the next thing, guys, you're supposed to print your work. And that is the Microsoft Word question. You see how easier that question was supposed to be uh, to be done. So uh, uh, the next thing is to go to Microsoft uh, Access question. So the management of a car hire company intends to maintain its record using a database. You have been tasked with creating the database. Open a database program and create a database named car hire. Guys, you can see that a C and letter H are capital. So do exact, it exactly as that. Then create the tables named customers, drivers, vehicles, and expenses in the database created in above 21 marks. So these are the field properties that you are supposed to uh, follow. So uh, we go to that question so that you can be in a position to have it. So guys, open the Microsoft Access, go to File, then Blank Database. Then here, you type the name of the database. The name of the database is uh, Car Hire. Car Hire. Then you click on Create. Then uh, you can cross this. The next thing is to create tables, customers table. So you just go to Create. Then you hit Table Design. In Table Design, you have Customer customer ID, customer ID, ID is capital, customer ID is text, size 4, so down here you type 4, down here you type 4, then the next one you go to uh, customer, customer name, uh, text, size here, field size, field size 25, then uh, that is it. So this one you just save it. You save it as uh, customer, customers. So uh, primary key, cancel this first of all, put this one as the primary key, then save. Then uh, cr cross this one, this is customers. Then you, you create the next one, create table design. Here we are creating the next table. Uh, remember, this is the feed sizes I was using. You can see how simple it is though they were scaring. We have driver ID, driver name. So I go there, this is the driver. We have driver, driver ID. Then we have uh, driver, driver name. Then this, is, this should be four, size four. Four, this one should be size 20, 20. Then primary key, save it as drivers then cross that one create go to table design the next one is vehicles v vehicles vehicles so we have the vehicle id and vehicle description v vehicle description description so this is six this is uh, size six. These are uh, this size six. Sorry, six. Six. This one is size twenty. So vehicle ID should be the primary key. So this is vehicles. Then lastly, the next table is create. Then we have table design, and then we have expenses ID. So we have vehicle, vehicle 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 id we have customer id we have driver driver id id we have expenses i don't know what that one means 
then I think it's description, then date travel, travel, that is more writers. Then we have distance covered. So uh, this one, we have the, the vehicle ID. The vehicle ID is six, six, sorry, six. The customer ID is four. Just they were right. They were they were right in the next one. This is text. This is four. Uh, driver ID is size four again. Then you have expenses description is size twenty. Twenty. We have skipped a field. We have skipped a field called uh, expenses in card expenses in card so go back here right click uh, insert so we have this one should be expenses in card then this one should be expenses expenses description so expenses description is size 20 20 then date of uh, date travel date travel is uh, is text but short date text and short date okay uh, date travel should be uh, short date okay then we have distance covered distance covered this should be date and time but the examiner said a short date so let's work it the way it is now this one uh, this table will bring a bit of confusion if you put this one as the primary key so leave it the way it is so this one is expenses expenses so you can just assign an automatic primary key so for this case after doing that one you just uh, cross that one so we, we now feed the data so apply appropriate primary key in customers drivers and and uh, vehicles table create appropriate relationship one and a half marks then the next thing is create a form name expenses form that would be used to enter data in the expenses table and perform the following on the form so you create a form called expenses form using expenses table so just go to create just close this one just go to create then uh, form wizard then do choose the expenses table send everything to the right hand side the next uh, columna is okay next uh, name it as uh, the, the examiner has given us a name for that. Name it, name it as expenses form. So we just add the word form in small letters. Finish. So we shall have this one. This is our form. This is our expenses form. Then there are some activities we are supposed to do. Modify the title as expenses entry expense entry so change this one design view go to design view change this one to expense that is expense expense entry entry that's what you are supposed to do then borrow the title borrow the title home b board then italicize i so that's the way it's supposed to be that is the title then after doing that, uh, the next thing examiner says is enter the foreign data into their respective tables. So let me enter the data. Data is captured. So I have my data in the fields just like uh, it is required. So the next thing after entering the data, uh, this is the data, data has been entered. You are told that um, 
given that a customer is charged Kenya shillings 15 per kilometer for the distance covered by a vehicle, create a query that would display the fields, customer name, driver name, expenses incurred, distance covered in kilometers, and calculated the field and charges. Save the query as V charges. So uh, when we go to this one, the first thing, uh, remember we didn't create relationships, so database tools, relationships. So remove these ones. This ones you don't need them. So when you are in the relationships, there is this this button add tables. So you just double click them from here. Then from there you can have now the the relationships like now vehicle ID to vehicle ID and that one. Then driver ID to driver ID. You enforce. Then you have customer ID to customer ID. You enforce. So. That's the relationship the examiner is asking. You can see it is perfectly done. So right click, cross all. Then now we continue to the next question. The next question is that uh, we are supposed to create a query. We are supposed to create a query. Uh, the query should have the following. So create query design. Then cross this one. So bring all the, the tables by double clicking on them. These are our tables. So the examiner says, customer name so customer name from the customer table driver name driver name then expenses in card or this expenses in card distance covered distance covered and a calculated field called charges so a calculated field is a field that is not in the table so i just type charges that is my calculated field and then tick this this is my calculated field now uh, the query should be saved as V charges. So save, right click here, save as V charges. Then I can cross it a bit, go back to the expenses table. We have distance covered. Distance covered can never be text, this should be number. That is that one. Then uh, the formula is distance time is. 15 also expenses in card should be changed uh, expenses in card let's see expenses in card expenses in card was which data type or currency and this one number so we change that one so this is number expenses this should be currency yeah you cannot perform any calculation if those ones remain the way they were then we go back to this one, go cross it, go back now to our query. This is our query. It will ask for a parameter, charges, because it is a calculated field which doesn't exist. So I right click here, right click here, go to design view. Then now I do the charges. The charges, the examiner says charges. You put a full colon. Just want you to see. So it should be distance. So should it be distance, distance covered, distance covered multiplied by 15, multiplied by expenses, expenses in card. If you misspell, you will get a parameter value. You see now my formula is perfect. There is no parameter value so this is the formula after doing that one i'm supposed to save and then run it expenses in card now the access has fragged that i have made a mistake in that so i right click again go to design view i can just opt to copy this Control c so that i bring it here inside here Control v so that i don't get that parameter value again there we are. So guys, you can see for yourself, the query is working perfectly. That's what you are supposed to have done in KCSE 2022. So we proceed. Uh, the next thing is, now I am done with that. Uh, create a report that will display the fields, customer name, driver name, expenses description, expenses in card 
and the accumulated amount of the expenses incurred. Save the report as V report. Whenever you hear a situation whereby you need to have different fields from different tables, you create a query. So go back to this stuff, go to create a query design, bring your tables. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we want to go create a query design. I can add tables, hit, hit tables here. I bring all my tables. So the examiner says we should have customer name, driver name, blah, 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 blah. So I just uh, take my question paper here and look at them. So we have customer name. We take customer name, driver name, driver name, uh, expenses, this one, expenses description, uh, expenses in cut and the accumulated amount of all expenses. Uh, so here, accumulated amount of all expenses. So in our report, we shall have the, the footer uh, with the calculations. So go to this, save it as V report. So I will use this one as basis of my report. So I cross it, go to create, go to uh, report wizard, uh, use V report, not V charges, V report. Send everything to your right hand side. Next, next, next. Here, arrange them according to uh, driver name, for example. Then next, here, stepped portrait. I think that one is fine. So here, change the name. The name is V report. V report. Then finish. Let's see what we have. So this is our report, our V report. So down here, go to design view, then pull the footer. All calculations in access are done in the footer. So we need, you can remove the customer name here. It's not so important. So we need to, to have, uh, the examiner says we have accumulation, uh, uh, that is accumulated, accumulated amount of expenses. So you just go to design, report design, take a text box and then draw a text box here down here then you can just call it accumulated accumulated um, accumulated amount of all expenses accumulated amount of all expenses accumulated amount of all expenses expense x pen expense so this is what I have so go to format draw it this way uh, red in color or whichever let's use black let's not deco decorate then we have expenses in card so just copy this to avoid parameter value copy then here just type equals sum open the bracket paste your stuff there so you can have this one bought, borrowed, and carabrack. So home view report. There we are. So you see the accumulated amount of all expenses. It will be sum of all expenses incurred in the V report. Then from there, print the four tables. So you just open the table like this one. Then go to fire, print. You hit print. For now I am not printing. So that's how you're supposed to uh, do that one. And then you'll be in a position to uh, complete your database. So guys, that is the end of KCSE 2020 paper two. That's how you are supposed to do it, to score 100%. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe. Remember to share my YouTube channel with your friends. Thank you very much.